The Gospel of Mark, the Baptism of Jesus Introduction The Baptism of Jesus by John served a significant role in both of their ministries. It came at the height of John's ministry, after which it began to decline. It served as the beginning of Jesus' ministry, which soon overtook the ministry of John. The baptism of Jesus has often raised two questions. Why was he baptized? Does his baptism reveal the purpose for Christian baptism? The Baptism of Jesus Jesus comes from Nazareth, from Nazareth of Galilee, Mark 1, verse 9a, located halfway between the Mediterranean coast and the southern tip of the Sea of Galilee. It's where Jesus grew up, Luke 2, verses 39 through 52, about a hundred mile journey to where John was baptizing. Jesus is baptized by John in the Jordan River, Mark 1, verse 9b, in Bethabara, Bethany, on the east side of the Jordan, John 1, verses 28 and 29. The Greek word baptizo indicates that the baptism involved immersion. Mark 1, verse 9. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. The Spirit descends on Jesus. Immediately, just as Jesus comes up from the water, Mark 1, verse 10a. He saw the heavens parting, being torn open, Mark 1, verse 10b. The Spirit descends like a dove, Mark 1, verse 10c, and Luke 3, verse 22, in bodily form like a dove. Thus the Holy Spirit bears His testimony of Jesus. Mark 1, verse 10. Immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. The Father speaks of Jesus as a voice from heaven. Mark 1, verse 11a. Proclaiming, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Mark 1, 11b. Thus the Father bears his testimony of Jesus. Mark 1, verse 11. A voice came out of the sky, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Questions related to the baptism of Jesus. Why was Jesus baptized? Not for the same reason other people were being baptized by John. Theirs was a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Mark 1, verse 4. They were confessing their sins. Mark 1, verse 5. Jesus was without sin. Hebrews 4, verse 15. Jesus said it was to fulfill all righteousness. Matthew 3, verse 15. It was God's counsel that people be baptized of John. Luke 7, verses 29 and 30. Jesus was willing to set the right example by doing the Father's will, something he delighted to do. Psalms 40, verse 7 and 8, and John chapter 4, verse 34, and chapter 8, verse 29. It also served to introduce him to John and Israel. John had been proclaiming that he was coming. Mark 1, verse 7. John had been told that the Spirit coming upon Jesus would be a sign. John 1, verses 29 through 34. He was baptized to do God's will and to publicly identify him to Israel. Does his baptism explain the purpose of our baptism? Many refer to Jesus' baptism to explain the purpose of Christian baptism. That baptism has nothing to do with the remission of sins. That baptism is but a public profession of one's faith. That baptism publicly identifies our relation to Christ, just as His baptism publicly introduced Him to Israel. 
However, there is no biblical connection made between Jesus' baptism and our own. Christian baptism is for the remission of sins, Acts 2, 38, and chapter 22, verse 16. Christian baptism is a union with Christ in his death, Romans 6, verses 3 through 7. Christian baptism was often administered in relative privacy, Acts 8, verses 35 through 38, and Acts 16, verses 25 through 34. No biblical writer suggests that we are baptized for the same reason as Jesus. What is the import of the Spirit and the Father's role? They certainly bear testimony as to who Jesus is. As the Spirit would do later via the works Jesus did, Matthew 12, verse 28. As the Father would do later on another occasion, Matthew 17, verse 5. They also bear testimony to the nature of the Godhead, three distinct persons in one God. Though one in substance, there is a distinction to be made between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, verse 19, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14, and Ephesians 2, verse 18. Thus, we see the unity of the Godhead implied in the baptism of Jesus. Conclusion With the Baptism of Jesus He was formally introduced to John and by him to Israel. The Father and the Spirit audibly and visually confirmed him as the Son of God. Jesus demonstrated his desire to serve and fulfill all righteousness. The baptism of Jesus is certainly significant to Christians. Not that we are to be baptized for the same reason as He, but certainly in confirming that He was the Messiah, and displaying the attitude that should be true of all His disciples, I have come to do my Father's will. Jesus did not need baptism because He was without sin. He was baptized because it was the Father's will for man at that time. Should we, who are sinners, dare hesitate to do the Father's will regarding baptism for the remission of sins today? Mark 16, verses 15 and 16, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, and chapter 22, verse 16. This concludes the Gospel of Mark. The Baptism of Jesus, a PowerPoint study created by Gospel Outreach Association from Executable Outlines with permission from Mark A. Copeland.